God is calling us to the miraculous, to do supernatural things so that his name is glorified. But in order to be able to do it, we need to keep our eyes on Jesus. We need to keep our eyes on God. Not looking to the right, not looking to the left, but just with our eyes, our focus on God and how great and awesome he is. And as Jesus called Peter out of the boat to walk on water, do the miraculous, Jesus is calling us to do the miraculous, to walk on water, to believe the impossible, so that the name of the Lord God Almighty will be glorified because it is he who work in us both to will and to do his good pleasure. It is he who would do it through us. But our eyes, our focus has to be on him, knowing that he's doing it and not us. Jesus came on assignment from the Lord to do a very difficult task, something that seemed impossible for a man to lay down his life for his brother. But yet he said, I'm doing it that your name might be glorified. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. He came to bring glory to the Lord. Ask anything in my name, and the Father will do it, that he might be glorified. So we are agents of God. Everything that we do, if we do it with Jesus as the focus, God is running behind us, trying to make sure that those things are fulfilled, that he is glorified, that the world will know that he is God. He took the children of Israel from Abraham to Egypt, to the promised land that he would be glorified. He brought his son Jesus to die on the cross for us, to give us access to him, direct access to him, so that we might be his ambassadors. Jesus sent them out and said, go and make ye disciples that my name is glorified. And when you pray, ask the Father in my name that I may be glorified. God wants to do all for us, but we have to remember to give him all the praise. We have to remember to bring him in on the assignment. We have to remember to bring him in on the planning. We have to remember to bring him in in the execution. We have to remember to bring him in when the victory is won, to give him all the praise, to give him all the glory. To give him all the honor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your grace in our lives. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for causing us to prosper, to make our way prosper, and to give us great success. Father, we thank you, O oh God, that everything that we are is because of you. Everything that we have is because of you. Father, we thank you for being with us in the good times. We thank you for being with us in the bad times. We thank you, O oh God, for keeping us, O oh Lord, and for strengthening us. Father God, and for lifting us up, O oh Lord God. When we thought that we couldn't do anything, when we thought that we couldn't make it anymore, God. Father God, you upheld us, O oh God. And Lord, here we are now, O oh God, in a joyful situation, giving you praise. Lord, because you deserve the praise. Because you deserve the glory. Because you deserve the honor, O oh God. Oh, because it is by your hand that you have done great and mighty things, O oh Lord. We say thank you, Father. God bless you. God loves us. God is faithful.